doctor with an artistic eye is so important, and Dr. Dion has that. He just made me feel really um, at ease. He, he's very kind. His staff is very kind. Just top of the line. My confidence is just skyrocketed. It's gone through the roof. I love making people feel good about themselves. That's what I do. When a patient comes in, they can expect that I'm going to be looking out for their best interest, always, no matter what. And sometimes it's surgery, sometimes it's non-surgical treatments, and sometimes it's nothing at all. I can use computer animation and computer morphing software to show someone what they could look like after the procedure. When you go into the operating room, everything stops and nothing else comes into your mind. Everything is clear as day and it's almost like slow motion for us. It's quiet and you are focused and one instrument after another and you're making moves and you're watching this nose or this face transform into what you talked about with the patient. All of medicine is going more towards minimally invasive. Plastic surgery is becoming more malleable. We're having a lot more ability to make the little changes, the finer edges, everything is softer and we have products and materials that we can use now to really sculpt the face. Back when I was in medical school, I started taking art classes, starting with simple clay, pottery. So I spent my days in medical school and my evenings in the art studio. And I really enjoyed studying human anatomy in medical school and then going into the art studio and understanding the physical form of it, watching it come to life in front of my hands. A lot of my research right now is based on the psychosocial outcomes of plastic surgery. Basically, how does plastic surgery affect you as a person and how does that affect your life? Throughout this course, I'm gonna shock you. What I'm trying to teach is that yes, beauty's got a purpose. But the ultimate goal for beauty is that you feel better about yourself because you are not beautiful unless you feel good. You can't box him or wrap him or tie him with a bow, but that isn't stopping people from giving this Chicago doctor and his Botox as a gift this season. And some people get a diamond ring, some people get a car, and some people get a facelift. It's not for everyone, but for some people it works pretty well. These are all defining characteristics that we know help to determine whether or not someone is more powerful or more dominant. It's this wonderful, mysterious power of self-esteem. When they sit down, I don't have to ask them because I already know the way they're feeling. Oftentimes they'll tell me how wonderful they feel, how they got a new job, their relationships are better, whatever it may be but they don't even have to tell me because I can just see it on their faces.